Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're presented by our friends at the Navy Federal Credit Union. Time to shine the light on Navy women's basketball. Please be joined by sophomore forward Gia Posada. And Gia, you were on this team last year. You lived it. You worked your butt off to try and do something about it. And this team won one game. What's it like already to have three wins under your belt and obviously see this team playing much better basketball? Yeah, obviously, like the whole team, we lived like through that and it was really rough. But um, I think that now it's just like a product of our hard work. And like we spent the entire offseason through the summer, through the preseason now, like preparing to um, play like better basketball, sh share the ball, take good quality shots. And like, obviously, it's a product of our hard work. And so we're extremely excited. You guys seem to have a lot of interchangeable parts. Uh, is that something also the way um, – look, let's face it, basketball is becoming a positionless game. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that is also helping this team where it just seems like there's a lot of interchangeable parts and, more importantly, a lot of people playing right now? Yeah, so, like, we – like, we have, like, Kaya and Z, for example, who are, like, point guards but also, like, play on the wing and want to, like, drive and get downhill. And then, like myself, like, I'm taller and I kind of play, like, in the middle, but I'm not, like, a true center either. And so I feel like – um, the versatility of like a lot of our players is really what's allowing us to see some success so soon. Seeing different people start to have some success. You obviously got some shots to fall Saturday. Violet got some shots to fall mm -hmm. on Sunday. You see what's going on in practice. Is there as much talent in that room as there uh, appears to be right now? There is more than what you see right now, honestly. Like we're only a few games in, but I'm so excited just because every day we see each other like growing and like, adding uh, new stuff to our bags. And like, I know that like, I mean, there is like, <laughs> there is one time in practice, Coach Taylor got on me because uh, one of our players like shot a three and I like ran back and he was like, yeah, Gia, like you got to crash the boards. And I was like, every time like Violet shoots it, like I think it's going in. Like there's just certain things where um, I can see like each individual like girl growing and uh, getting better already, like even now in season two. And so um yeah, I know. I think we all feel like really comfortable and like know what each other is good at too. And that really is help really helping us. You know, just as a competitor, I mean, we've all certainly had games like last year. Mm -hmm. Some of us from time to time have had seasons like last year. But what what was it like to live that? But more importantly, then have that drive in the off season and determination to make sure that this year was going to be different. Yeah, it was like I can't even think of a word to describe what last year felt like just because it was so monotonous and where like we would come in every day and be like, okay, like today's going to be different. Like we're going to, you know, do work extra hard. Like today we're going to communicate. We're going to do these things that will make a difference for our game, let's say in two days. Right. And we do it and we work hard. Like, yes, like we got it. We got, we come in for the, the game and we're like, this is our night. And this is going to be like the first night where we start, we get, one win and it's just going to have like a waterfall effect and then it didn't happen and you're like oh my god and then the same like then like the um following day it's the same thing we're like okay we, we got it like there's just one more game we we can do it and then it's like the same thing it's not happening you're like oh my god this is so frustrating like all of our hard work is happening now and no one's seeing any products of it and we're not seeing any product of it and so uh, eventually you're like oh my God, when is it going to be our chance to show how much work we're putting in? How, like, we, it's not like we've been doing nothing, right? And so I think that now it's like kind of really nice to see because we have been ha doing all this stuff since last year. And um, I guess it's just really cool to see it actually come to light, honestly. I, I asked Coach Taylor the same question and I asked Morgan the same question uh, a mm -hmm. couple of weeks ago. Just what's it like to actually be able to run 5v5? versus other yeah. people there were times last year you all couldn't do that <laughs> yeah I mean because we have like the practice guys that come in but it's like not the same like the game is so different and like we were playing against girls that are like your age your size your strength and speed like it's so it's so refreshing it's so nice to see like you know this stuff will work against another female player at our size and our strength and our speed you know um and it is nice because it also creates like a, comp a competitive nature um in practice like allowing us to like, you know, get after each other. And it just really makes us a lot better. Can you kind of describe to the audience what it will be like? And we know Tony is right around the corner. Uh, for those of us that actually saw the four and a half minutes that she got to play last yeah. year, and how dominant she was in that four and a half minutes. Can you just describe what it's going to be like to add her into what's already growing mm -hmm. as a product right now for you all? Yeah. 
we are so excited. Tony, um, we all have like really good chemistry with Tony, even though she has been on the court with us, like she's been with us this whole time. And so, I mean, I played with Tony, obviously that four and a half minutes and then like the entire preseason, we got to uh, play together and she loves to push the ball. And we are so excited because like we can just get out and go. And Tony's really good at facilitating the game. And she has a, like an immediate impact on the game. She'll get in and make these passes that I, there's passes that she made to me that I'm like, I don't even see it, but you saw it. Now the ball's in my hand and we have two <laughs> points. That's awesome. And um, we're so excited because she does even now in practice, cause she's playing um, right now with us. And it's just like, it's exciting. We're all excited for Tony to be back. Yeah. I mean, for you personally, has it always been Tom's river, New Jersey, uh, and if so, how did you how did you avoid the Little League Baseball bug that uh, obviously dominates uh, in, in that locale? Yeah, I've lived there my whole life. Um, when we were younger, like my my parents kind of just put my sister and I in like every sport that there was. And we kind of just had to like pick which one was our favorite and what we were good at. And naturally, like we're both super tall. And so basketball kind of stuck. And here we are. I was going to say, I mean, it, it's been to, to live in a city like that, though, that kind of mm -hmm. gets some of the spotlight how cool is that to see you know kids that maybe you know that you know end up uh, even if they don't go all the way to williamsport end up on tv and now oh, you end up on tv you know mm -hmm. yeah it's cool um every year we're watching them on tv they're, they're pretty good especially like the younger team i think it's like my my brother's age um it's cool it's really cool and i'm excited for everyone there Obviously, some great opportunities coming up for you guys. Uh, a road trip to Wagner now on Thursday and then right back home against uh, William and Mary uh, mm -hmm. on Sunday. How different is the mindset? Do you guys, like, look forward to getting out there and just looking forward to that that next opportunity? You can't It's almost like a, a can't wait to get out there feeling again. Yeah. I mean, especially after our, our last game, we are really excited to go. Uh, and we also only have one road game under our belts right now. So this one is, like, um, it's it's – really big for us and i think we have some um we have a, a good crowd traveling with us so we're really excited we want to just get out there and just you know show them what but when navy's all about really i was gonna say there might be a few people from new jersey up there uh <laughs> yeah coming uh on thursday gia awesome stuff appreciate you taking some time for us this morning and continued success uh, to you and your teammates thank you